Traditions and customs are national treasure. Kazakh people observe traditions over many centuries. The Great Steppe is an amulet of the country. You can watch the customs and traditions of the Kazakhs in the modern nomads program. Falconry is an ancient art that takes a big place in the Kazakh life. Falconry was mostly done by the Kazakh itinerant singing poets, rulers, hans and warriors, batyrs. Generally speaking, they used hunting skills of golden eagles as a profession. They hunted for animals. They sold animal skins. There are professional peculiarities too. That is why the Kazakhs keep special golden eagles. Among those, they keep the hunting bird. The specific features of the hunting birds depends on the place it was born and grew up. There was a time when people used to specially come from far to get this imperial eagle's breed to use them professionally. <laughs> Today's episode is dedicated to the tradition of hawkery. The first thing that comes to mind when you hear hawker is a person with a vermin on his forearm. However, not every hawker possesses the skills necessary to teach a falcon to strike. A miniature flesh bird, a falcon, has become a main part of the leisure culture in Kazakhstan. Bred and fed by hunting smaller birds and steppe animals like rabbits, wolves, wild ducks and geese, Falcons are incredibly fast and agile. About the bird's properties, we talked to an experienced hawker. Later, Akan Sidi, Birjan Sal also were engaged in this traditional art. Sabit Mukhanov wrote in his works in the 50s that falconry is one of the greatest national Kazakh sports. And Alke Margulan researched the Kazakh falconry art and wrote about it as well. Before him, Saduakas Muhammadjanov wrote the first work, The Hunter Birds of the Kazakhs, in 1905. It was published in Omsk, and foreign scientists have studied the Kazakh traditions of falconry art and traditions of Sal Sidi. <laughs> Traveling and training birds are not a sign of whim. An old tradition of a nomad culture will lose its charm without the bird hunting. Masterfully, training a bird to do what you want is the epitome of patience and connection to nature. Besides, it is extremely interesting raising, training, and enjoying hunting with a falcon. There was a legend about falconry art. Once, Qasim Khan came to Sarayishik and organized a dinner for his father, Janibek. There was a big feast as well. In the winter, the Khan crossed the Volga and the Ural. The 40 hawkers from Crimea, 1,000 hawkers from the Kazakh Sosak participated in the feast. There is also information about the Khan's hunting, and the falconry was used among the ordinary people for food. During the famine, our father saved one village from hunger which was in a Chinese lands on the other side, owing to his hawk, the golden eagle, and one greyhound dog. The hawk caught the pheasant and partridge bird while the golden eagle caught the roe and a greyhound dog was able to catch a rabbit. During the famine, my father shared them among our relatives and residents of the village. In fact, it is a tradition that belonged to Salseri and rich people in the past. It is said everywhere the eagle is obeyed only to the Kazakh nation. Other nationalities hold light birds. According to the ethnographer Ahmed Toktabai, the hawkers considered themselves the important figures who were superior to other ordinary people. For example, two people in Mongolia were arguing between each other as one of them did not hold the golden eagle. The hawker, who had the eagle in his arm, was very angry at his opponent. Nevertheless, the hawkers were not allowed to hunt so often.
Bunu Kazakça tazalıktan simvolu deyip kustu solay üstüden. Yine deyip de kustun tülevi deyip toğız mıın? The Kazakh bird was captured as a symbol of cleanliness. The bird's wish is to go home with 9,000 horses, 9,000 cattle and 9 children. One of the boys among nine will catch me every day and I will be able to see the steppe and the nature. If he has 9,000 cattle, I will not get hungry, probably the bird will say. Therefore, the hawk or golden eagle were sacred birds in the Kazakh Khanat. We also have a golden eagle on our blue flag. The eagle is vigorous. In the entire animal world, the eagle can fly directly into the sun in a bird's world. Eagle poultry can see any bird that flies for about a mile, one and a half kilometers away. Well-known ethnographer Jagda Babalik told us there are 11 strong eagles on the steppes of Kazakhstan. Especially the golden eagles of the Altai Tianshan Mountains are strong enough. They are able to hunt for foxes, wolves and bears. Historically, Hunan's tribe used hunting as a military exercise. In the 5th to the 7th centuries, hunting was also widespread. In the vicinity of Jochi's horde, there were 3,000 eagle birds. About 9,000 eagles were around the Kublai Khan or Da. Among the Kazakhs who moved from the Chinese to the Soviet Union in 1962, there were hawkers who took hawks when they crossed the border. The descendants of this art appreciate this heritage art. There is heritage art from his father. In China, he hunted with friends for about a month. It's as a hobby. When he came to the border, he said, I will not cross the border without my eagle. One eagle fed 50 to 60 houses near the border. Finally, the Chinese agreed to take the golden eagle to Kulja, registered and wrote a passport, and then he was allowed to take it with him. Praising and acknowledging the art of bird training is almost an adherence in our culture. Bird training became a science of its own, and hawkers became new scientists. Knowing all the minute details of every kind or every age requires a well vastness of knowledge collected throughout generations of hawkers. The well-known eagle trainer Jaliar Shoran is deemed to be the greatest hawker in the Kazakh history. The nomadic lifestyle of our ancestors made us into natural hunters and hawkers. Owing to one falcon, one eagle and one greyhound was a must. These days it became more of a show. Harnessing the power of sky owners wouldn't be possible without the respectful attitude to its nature. Using the power to our needs wouldn't be possible without a hearty union. It's not interesting to keep a golden eagle. You have to train it, tame it and put it into hunting because it's a step savage. It loves flying, which is why you have to constantly put it into hunting. Falconry isn't just for fun or taking photos and keeping it inside, which doesn't relate to falconry. It's a pity for the golden eagle. <laughs> Trasat Burkchiller. 
Ürküttüm erkeği, yani domalak gelip, kışı gelip, bu yani, e, erkek ürküt, jalqa ulağı gelip. Nekizinden, balan, balapanın asırayıtın, yani, e, anlı ustayıtın, orğashısı, ana ürküt deyimiz o. Ana ürküt öte mıxtı bulat. An ethnographer, Jagda Babalik, thinks eagles have 43 names in relation to the body, and it lives about 120 years. But there is not any information about the age of the golden eagle. In 1905, a man whose name was Tusip found a chick of a golden eagle in the Yerin Kabirga mountain of Jungaria. He called it Karabalapan. This eagle was very fast and was able to catch about 60 foxes. Then the golden eagle was shared among the hawkers. In 1945, he was molted for the 41st time until it escaped from the Janibek hawker. It is not easy to work for the next hawker with the eagle. Jabai Burkutko, one Kundrushin. The Kazakh word used for eagle, kiran, actually means brave and gracious. It is a word of description of the bird's properties. Kiran can be used to describe a person as well, and in either case means no less than daring and good-natured. No matter what bird you own, you will fail to find a friend more loyal. The stories of the vermin saving their owner's lives are countless in the course of the history of the friendship and a wild eagle needs time to be trained. Hawker eagles are not allowed to sleep, as during the time they train, they will be given meat and trained to fly from the hand of the hawker. Then every day, the hawker can take it inside the house with a reason to adapt it to people during the talk. The hawker usually holds the falcon eye cap with him. <laughs> In a time of fallen snow, hawkers come out with a golden eagle. The fox can be found among the stones. A good horse and a good friend are a delight for a hunter. The poet Abai described in his poem the life of the hawker and how he was hunting. There are a lot of works related to hunting and falconry, and the story of them is very interesting. From the first day, if you manage to restrain yourself from introducing bad habits, the bird will grow smarter and wiser. Let's say you are feeding the bird, you put a piece of meat in front of it with its feet tied by the string. Should you let the bird grab the meat, the moment you let loose the string, you will get yourself a problem because you are risking to hurt your hands and you are teaching the bird bad behavior. You should never allow this to avoid further standoff behavior from the bird. An ethnographer, Jagda Babalik, wrote that an ancient tradition of our nation was the love of the golden eagle. To believe in the golden eagle to be sacred and to glorify it. In the Kazakh literature of the Kazakh people, there are a lot of words that describe the condition of the eagle. One of them is, the eagle is unable to sit on the pedestal as it became old. We can compare it with an old lion whose time has passed. Bu 
kiyeli ustep sanagan kazak. Mano, jaga, akilerim zayt vatratın, esirisi mano basanı mayjatkan. An eagle is a sacred bird. Our fathers told us earlier that the woman gave birth to the child at home. If the woman was not able to give birth quickly, it was a tradition to let the eagle fly on that house for a quick birth. When an eagle was molting, the feathers were saved and they were given to the women who were not able to have a baby. They have been hanged on the head of the bed. There are also other rituals. It was considered as a sacred bird by the Kazakhs. Sonday arınlar var. Şimdi bu öte kiyeli kus dep, bunu sonday coğar sanakın o kazak. It is not allowed to sell an eagle, only it should be given as a gift. One day, Nugiman asked to take a golden eagle while visiting the village of Arinjan Januzakuli Kaji. Nugiman presented one of his bad eagles. Then Arinjan told him, Your eagle which was presented to me is not an eagle. It is just a black crow. Will I give it to my children? Kozhikiem would give me a nice eagle. What a pity! I received another eagle. Then Kaji presented the best golden eagle with a chapan. Kazakh people called a brave man who is not afraid of anything, Zhurek Zhutkan. The owner of the eagle gave the heart of the animal, it is called Toyat. The eagle which was fed will fly with joy. The guy who married recently will receive a wish as Kisin Kuti Bolson. Boldum, so gözüm ne bira oldu, bir gander jenga sol kuspeni sok aşarsızlar jenga asırab. I was in Bayanaul during the famine years. An eagle hunted and brought food for one village, and then it was let to fly away. An eagle may return back to its home one year later. That eagle was given to the orphan boy in the village. Later, the same eagle became a famous golden eagle in the village. In the 1970s, the little boy, St. Jean, was taken with his eagle to the Baltic for filming. He lost his eagle in the thick woods. After two months, the eagle would return to his native land. An eagle never leaves its land and mountains. In recent years, special attention was given to falconry art and some competitions are organized as well. As a result, the number of people who are interested in this art has increased. The falconry art became a national sport and there is a division of national sports schools where young people are training in the same school. The Department of National Sports of the Sports Academy train these students. Well-known craftsman Darkimbai Shokpar Uli has made a lot of efforts in this field. During his work at the academy, he taught how to make the equipment for falconry art and these students defend their diploma. All these equipments used by modern hawkers have been developed on the basis of them. The school of Shora was founded in the Almaty region in 1987. It is now 30 years old. There is no elder among us, the founders of that school. But in 1997, we worked as a center for further development. The great ethnographer Jagda Babalik is the founder of the latest Hawker School. Only 18 golden eagles were collected in the Almaty region from all of the Republic in 1997. None of these elders are among us, but owing to that school, falconry art was included to national sport. Currently, there are approximately 100 hawkers in our republic. Among them, only 30 are real hawkers, but now we're able to see the young generation's desire to master this national sport. The nomads stove to understand the essence of all things live and inanimate and communicate with it. The lifestyle and the climate with six months of summer and six months of winter required that the humans find harmony with their surroundings. Later, this necessity gave birth to the art of communication. The art grew into a tradition. Hawkery is one of the ways we try to communicate with nature that is left. 
and it is to be revered and preserved for the future.